at guard, 6'5", from Southern, number 14, Bobby Fields. The Chicago Bulls controlling the opening kick. Bobby Fields matched up with Michael Jordan. Yes, Fields. For John Williams. Rebounded by Bobby Fields. Bobby Fields did a good job on Friday night. Played a career-high 46 minutes, 22 points. But he was the first to admit nobody stops Michael George. Michael opened up by Jordan. Two and a half remaining in this first quarter. 8-0 run by Chicago. Pippen lost it to Colton. Hold the tempo. Want to torture the Chicago Bulls. Not quite down to four. Fills. Bobby Fills with six points. 22-18, Chicago for the playoffs. A lot of players with like a 17-game run before the playoffs. Jordan changed his mind. Run down by Longley by 10 points. Bryce gets it back out to Fills for three. Yes. Bobby Fills. Cavaliers not a shot-blocking team with the exception of Hot Rod Williams. Fills for three. get the steal but tie him up make those kinds of rotations and then recover when the ball would be passed around the corner that is a back court violation after the Cavaliers Mike Fratello claiming that no it was a steal he wanted the basket but it will be Cleveland putting it in play at midcourt Cavaliers doing it with a series of three-point shots another look at it as Wennington on the back tap well, B.J. Armstrong never really had possession of it. Remaining in the half. Well, I think we saw something that we're going to see in the second half with the Bulls going to B.J. Armstrong to make Mark Price work at the defensive end because he's killing him at the offensive end. And Phils foul. Bobby Phils driving into a crowd. Scotty Pippen, uh, uh, Corey Blunt, and one of the centers in particular at the defensive end. We could see it in the second half. Bobby Phils. Gunning for his 14th point. He's hit five of eight from the field. And the Bulls with Purdue up front, along with Kukoc and Pippen, Jordan and Armstrong at the guards. Traveling violation call on Jordan and the crowd level. Right, you see the look on Michael's face. He had a couple of those types of calls on Friday night that he didn't appreciate. Just watch his pivot foot, which is the left. Uh, very, very close. The, uh, fourth quarter. How about George Yorison? 12 of 13 from the field for 25 points. 13 point lead for the Cavaliers. Michael Jordan coming up short. Pippen blocked. Now Jordan posting up on Phil. With 16 on the 24. All kinds of help coming, but Bobby Phil's able to get his hand in there and cleanly knock it away. Bobby Phil's playing with a lot of confidence against Michael. Cavaliers oh, lead by nine. Pippen finally oh, rejected by Phil. Price drawing the double team, getting it out to Michael Cade, who is hesitant to take the outside shot. Phillips. He was able to hang because he had the thought that he might give it up. Jordan off the dribble. Jordan with the fake. Jordan off the rebound. And Hill hauls it in. Allen he played against him. He challenged him at every turn. Well, the Cavaliers now lead 68 to 59. Wellington has six points, eight and a half to go in the fourth. Phils has had the touch. Bobby Phils in his fourth NBA season left. In the fourth. They double up on Jordan. Good job on Michael Jordan's court. Violation. 
Eight-point lead for Cleveland. Now on Pippen, but he has to that loose rebound to save it. Michael Jordan has not scored here in the second half. Jordan with only 12 points and has been severely outplayed by Bobby Phil. And what Phil's has done is keep Michael in front of him, and then when Jordan puts the ball on the floor, the help defense is coming quick and hard by the rest of the Cavaliers. That Mike Fratello won. Jordan, get up! And Phil put the rebound. Chicago, three timeouts left, plus a play. Cleveland has two and a 20. Jordan firing. And the rebound is deflected out by Longley of the goal. Nine and eight, ten seconds to go. And the fourth. I would think we'll see a quick foul attempt by the Bulls, who are over the limit. And they take a delay of game, so Phil Jackson is able to check out what the uh, Cavaliers were lining up. And now Mills will look to throw in. They want the ball in the hands of Price. Instead, it's Williams who merely turned it over. Final seconds, down to three. And a timeout is called by the Bulls. It's down to one and nine tenths seconds to go in the fourth quarter. I, I don't know why Chris Mills is even up on Scottie Pippen, although the inbound passer is very dangerous. He should be off in a passing lane somewhere where Michael Jordan is going to go. Next foul will put the Cavs over the number. Here is Jordan with the It does not happen here this afternoon. The Cleveland Cavaliers able to hang on. That would have provided additional nightmares for this franchise. But this time, Michael could not hit. He had the good look, but he went strong off the back of the rim. Well, they get the ball into Michael Jordan, and he actually gets a better look this time as Bobby Phils right there going to challenge this shot. But Michael Jordan will say he got an excellent look at the basket and will be disappointed with himself for not winning the ballgame. Michael finishes 9 of 26, 21 points. He had nine minutes over the last four minutes of the fourth quarter after going scoreless for 23 minutes. And for the Cavaliers, it is a split of the home and home, and they move within one game of the Bulls. And the game clock winding down, Michael Jordan knowing exactly how much time he has. Give Bobby Phils a lot of credit on the challenge. So the Cavaliers win it 79-78. Let's